Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will identify two dimensional figures obtained from the cross section of three dimensional objects. We will also identify three dimensional figures obtained by rotating two dimensional figures. Now let us see how to identify two dimensional figures from cross section of three dimensional objects. Now three dimensional figure or we can say 3D figure is a solid which has length, width and depth like cylinder cone sphere and pyramids and two dimensional figure or we can say 2D figure has only length and width like rectangle, circle, square, triangle, etc. Now when we are playing intercepts or slices, a solid figure, we obtain very interesting shapes. First of all, let us understand the meaning of cross section. Now when a plane intersects or cuts a solid, then the intersection of the plane and solid is called cross section. Now let us take one illustration in which we will slice the solid with a plane in three different ways and will identify the two dimensional figures thus obtained. Here we have taken a cylinder. In first figure we have sliced the cylinder vertically with a plane and here the plane divides the cylinder in two halves. Now we see the shape of the cross section formed after cutting the cylinder with this plane vertically and it is of a rectangle that is the shape of cross section is of a rectangle which is a two dimensional figure and in the second figure we have sliced the cylinder at an angle that is we have sliced the cylinder by a plane at an angle. Here we get oval shape of the cross section Now in the third figure we have sliced the cylinder horizontally by the plane and we see that here we are getting circular cross section that is cross section which is circular in shape. Now let us take one more example. Now when a sphere is cut horizontally we can see that shape of the cross section is a circle. Also we see when a cone is sliced vertically then we see that shape of cross section is triangle. Now let us discuss how to identify three dimensional figures obtained by rotating two dimensional figures. 
To understand this, we will see an illustration in which we will rotate a right angle triangle ABC to obtain the solid cone. Now let us rotate the triangle about the line AB. Now rotating the triangle about the line AB, we get shape of a cone. Now direction of rotation does not matter. We can rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise about the vertical line AB. Thus, rotating a two-dimensional figure, that is, right of the triangle, we get a three-dimensional figure, that is, a cone. Now let us take one more example. What will be the solid formed when a rectangle is rotated about one of its edges? Here, let us take the rectangle ABCD. Now, we rotate it about edge AD in any direction. Now, here you can see when we rotate this rectangle about edge AD in any direction, we obtain a solid that is cylinder. Similarly, when we rotate a circle about its diameter, we obtain a sphere. Also, you must note that the line around which we rotate the figure is called axis of rotation. So, in this session, we have learned how to identify two dimensional figures obtained from the cross section of three dimensional figures. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.